Alright guys, Matt here with Droid Tech, so welcome back to my channel. And in front of me, I have the Life Proof 3 for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Before doing this video, I actually did some research about this case and I saw some pretty bad reviews on the screen protector, the inbuilt screen protector I should say. But here we are, we are coming into this unboxing and review with an open mind. So thanks to Life Proof Malaysia for giving me a unit to review and give my unbiased opinion. So without further ado, Let's get this video started. So if you have been following my channel, you will know that I've been a real big fan of LifeProof ever since the company started with their iPhone 4 cases. And I actually was one of their Kickstarter backers when they first launched their project. And the case, although phenomenal, had some flaws. Of course, that comes with the sacrifice of sound quality. The speaker is going to be slightly muffled. Through the years, they have actually evolved and Right now, they are actually owned by Autobox, so I expect top-notch quality and great improvements from this new thin design and the build overall. Alright, so let's take a look at the package itself. So you can see new thin design. Hopefully that doesn't affect uh, durability in the long run. You can see live proof, free. I'm really excited to check this case out. That's why I'm actually rushing this video. So I'm going to be taking this case with me to Korea next week. So you can see features right here dirt proof snow proof drop proof as usual you can see it's for the 11 pro max okay, let's take a look at the back you can see this is a waterproof case 360 protection sealed from all the elements submersible two meters for one hour of course you're going to be thinking why do we even need a waterproof case because the iphone itself is already waterproof but of course when we're thinking of durability dropping your your device and then it falling into the water subsequently I mean you never know what could happen right when you take your phone out so this case gives you the peace of mind and last but not least survives drop from 2 meters so submersible you know survives drops I mean that's the best combo you can get right now of course there are other companies also making waterproof cases like Catalyst of course they are known for their drop resistance as well by the way we are here to check out the life proofs let's get right into the box you can see very nice take the case out you can see the two-piece case right here let's see what else do they have inside the box they should have a cleaning cloth if I'm not mistaken okay yes we do have some instruction manual okay so let's take a look first things first we have a limited warranty schedule for Australia I don't know why, it's Australia only, but anyway, let's put that to the side, we are in Malaysia anyways. Okay, let's take a look at some more instructions, you can see cam maintenance, you can pause this and read it for yourself, you can check it out on their website. More stuff on how to get the case installed, but of course we already know the drill. Nice microfiber cloth, I love their microfiber cloths, you can see LifeProof branded, and of course, LifeProof global limited warranty the warranty is pretty good i've actually exchanged one of the cases before i think it was for the iphone 5s if i'm not mistaken or the 5 where they had the screenless edition if you remember the life proof nude if i'm if i'm not mistaken yeah that that one has some issues with water leaking into the case and i got a replacement pretty quickly so i should say the warranty is pretty good okay let's take a look at this case so new design right here you can see now, if you compare this with the previous LifeProof cases, they actually removed the Apple cutout because, I mean, there's already a big, not to say I saw, but there's a big cutout right here, a big square cutout right here for the lenses and the flash. I mean, you don't want another square cutout right here. It will look really hideous. So, well done. I like that and it makes it look more minimalistic also. Okay, so the, on the front, the screen guard, I will keep my opinions for later as I use the case in the days to come so what else do we have you can see this toggle right here let me get the camera to focus see the toggle right there very nice and then the volume buttons on the right side usual get the power on button and the bottom now they actually have changed the locking mechanism to something that is uh, more soft as compared to the previous latching mechanism which usually failed because the gasket will actually come off eventually and get lost. Okay, you can see the nice protected 
mesh at the bottom for your microphone and your speakers. One thing that's missing from this case is actually a lanyard. I'm not sure why they do not include it, but I mean, as a rugged case, you should actually include a lanyard. If you pay so much for this case, they should actually include a lanyard, at least. Okay, let's take a look at the insides of the case. You can see that there's a gasket going around the back portion of this part. You can see right here, there's also foam padding for your camera. And then there's an the instruction, before exposing your device to water, you should do a water test, yada yada yada. Yeah, so that's basically the rule when you buy waterproof cases you should test it out before you fully trust the case okay let's take a look at the insides basically nothing much to talk about except there's obviously padding and also some rubber around so in case you do drop your device it's going to absorb the shock very nicely done you can take a look at the bottom as well I'm not sure where the light's catching you can see right here so let's install the phone in this case, but of course I do have to remove my tempered glass screen protector. So I'll probably fast forward this because it's the usual steps which I usually do. So I'll be right back. So guys, we got this case on, as you can see, pretty nice, very easy install. Uh, actually, the case steps on tight. So I don't see any of the issues which the people who are giving reviews have, like the screen protector issues and stuff. So yes, I do have some dust inside, but just to show you the case itself, you can see, let me open the pot cover right here. Very nice. It's pretty deep though, so I don't think most third-party lightning cables were able to fit. Okay, so let's test the toggle itself. It works perfectly. See, very nice. I don't have any of the air gap issues though. But of course, it's full of smudges. I believe that this is not made from glass anymore. I'm not very sure. But it does a job. And you can see that it doesn't really impede any of the camera quality. Let me show you right here. Let's open the camera. Let's take a picture. Very nice. Still no problems right here. See, it's very clear. So, I I believe that this case overall is okay, but of course, it's very subjective. Let's try some songs. Okay, so I'm back with some NCS. So, actually, the back of the case is vibrating. Yes, it does sound a little bit more muffled as compared to without this case, but I mean, it's, it's to be expected because this is a waterproof case after all. Overall, it's fine. I can live with that because I use AirPods anyways. So let's, let me give you a closer look at the lenses. You see, they are very precise. Very nice. I'm actually pretty impressed by the new tin design. I, I heard of people saying that the case is a bit sharp, but I think it's smooth overall. I'm not sure whether they got a defective unit or maybe the first batch. But this batch is actually really good. I mean, Malaysia, we get things pretty late. So I should say it's also pretty safe because we actually get the revised version, I should say. All right, so overall, this case is something I would recommend because I've been using LifePool for many years now. And this case so far hasn't let me down. But of course, I will do update the description below. So if there are any issues I encounter, so I'll also leave the price in the description below because right now I do not have the pricing for this in Malaysia. i also leave the links in the description below so you can check that out. Alright, so that concludes our video. Hope you like it. If you did like it, hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. I'll be reviewing the Nomad 3-in-1 wireless charger. I'm still doing some tests on it. Alright, so that concludes this video. See you guys in the next one.